Elizabeth issues her statement after the Meghan and Prince Harry revealing interview with Oprah Winfrey. It seems that the British royals are reeling from this interview. This is by Neam Harris on News Punch. Buckingham Palace issued a statement on behalf of the Queen following the explosive tell-all interview by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with Oprah Winfrey. The statement said, The whole family saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. Whilst some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members, the statement said. In the interview, Meghan Markle claimed that she had been denied help by the royal family while suffering from suicidal thoughts and also alleged that members of the monarchy had expressed concerns about how dark quote unquote, her then unborn son's skin would be. She and Harry also shared some happy news and announced that their second child is on the way. It's due in the summer and that will be a baby girl. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. MSN reports the interview was aired on Sunday night to US audiences before being shown in the UK on Monday evening. During the candid conversation, Megan suggested her son was not made a prince because of his race, although rules set by George V meant that he was not entitled to be one. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer said the allegations made by the Duchess must be taken seriously. He said nobody but nobody should be prejudiced against because of the colour of their skin or because of their mental health issues. Harry also said it hurts that none of his relatives spoke out in support of Meghan following the racism he said she faced in the media. Meanwhile, in the US, where race is recognised to be a big issue, former US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton backed Meghan in a clip shown on BBC Breakfast, she said this young woman was not about to keep her head down. You know, this is 2021. The Duchess Meghan Markle also spoke about having suicidal thoughts, but she said her approaches to the monarchy for help were turned down. While House Press Secretary Jen Psaki praised Harry and Meghan's courage when asked if US President Joe Biden had watched the interview, Psaki told journalists on Monday for anyone to come forward to speak about their own struggles with mental health and tell their own personal story that takes courage. That's certainly something the president believes. Meanwhile, Megan's estranged father, Thomas Markle, has spoken of his great respect for the royals, adding, I don't think the British royal family are racist at all. For Mr. Markle told ITV's Good Morning Britain that yes, a racist comment should be investigated, but said he hopes the comment on skin tone was just a dumb question. He said it could just be that simple. It could be somebody asking a stupid question rather than being a total racist. Winfrey asked Megan if Archie's lack of title. She says, do you think it's because of his race? I know that's a loaded question. And Megan replied, I can give you an honest answer. In those months when I was pregnant, all around this same time, so we had the conversation of he would not be given security. He's not going to be given a title and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he was born. The chat shows ho show host uh, was told that it had been raised by a member of the royal family with Harry, but the couple did not want to reveal who it was. Royal biographer Andrew Morton said the fallout from the interview will shut her down through the generations in the same way that Diana's did in her now infamous Panorama interview of 1995 Harry's mother, Princess Diana, Princess of Wales, called royal officials the enemy and questions Charles' suitability to be king. Life behind palace doors has not been exposed to this degree since the days of the War of the Waleses, when the turmoil of Charles and Diana's disintegrating marriage was laid bare in the 1990s. The interview was watched by more than 11 million people on ITV, according to the head of 
home news at the broadcaster. Commenting on the tweet from Variety, Matt Williams wrote, over 11 million people watched the opera IV with the, the interview with Meghan and Harry on ITV last night. There was a peak of over 12 million. It is a year on Tuesday since uh, Meghan and Harry carried out their final official engagements as senior working royals attending the Commonwealth Day service in Westminster Abbey. Other revelations, including Harry's admission that he has become estranged from his father, saying, I really feel let down, but added that he would make it one of his priorities to try and heal that relationship. Megan said the Duchess of Cambridge had made her cry ahead of her wedding, the opposite of reports circulating ahead of the Sussex nuptials that Megan left Kate in tears at Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting. In a lighter moment, the couple, who announced in February that they're expecting their second child, said they are due to have a baby girl this summer. Commenting on her mental health crisis when she felt she did not want to be alive anymore, Duchess Meghan Markle said, I went to the institution and I said that I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said that I'd never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it would not be good for the institution. Megan described how nothing was done when she contacted another unnamed, other unnamed individuals. She said she had to find a solution. When Oprah Winfrey suggested if the answer was, I don't want to be alive anymore, Megan replied, well, I thought it would have solved everything for everyone, right? Harry was equally cutting about the financial support he received from his family, saying they literally cut me off financially, quote unquote, in the first quarter of 2020. And he went for the Netflix, Netflix and Spotify deals to pay for his security. He said he had what Diana left him with. And without that, he said we would not have been able to do this. This is by Neam Harris on News Punch. Very revealing. I haven't seen the interview and I... I hope I can find it somewhere on the internet to see it. Thank you for your support.